Cross, Brian Zing. Uh, I'm talking about today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about very, very, very special and ironic situation. This is the uh, sunshade I had for a long time ago. That's a. This is a first generation made in USA production product. It folds like this and fold. Pop top you use for what? For the sunshade. And here is a Tesla. When I bought the Tesla, I was ready to protect Tesla and put these shades into the dashboard and ready to use. But guess what? Today I am not using this for uh, product instruction. No, no, no. This is not a product instruction uh, class. Okay. The funny ironic thing is I have this item. I also have this item. This item is moved. The suction cup stuck to here. When you go close the door, and you can do whatever, right? Now this item I bought right now. So one of the uh, previous knockoff companies make. I bought this from Costco. You know what I happened? What, what happened to me? This is third. 20 some years old product. My pattern has a 20 years life. It's already expired. Funny enough, this, this is very convenient. You can put in the storage of Tesla. Okay? Now, I am uh, able to uh, try to. This is a Tesla is very a much able to control. So I, by accident, I open the front trunk. Guess what? Let's go to check out the, the front trunk. <laughs> All right, my cameraman Jason, I opened the door when I bought these things. Oh, this is very good. Batteries underneath the front even have a trunk so I got this I I found this in the trunk as a free gift this is a funny Tesla model but you know what I put out oh it's a, I zippered it and zippered open and then what I find out a twist and fold sunshade with screen shade working just like my invention 20 some years ago and i was feeling so uh mixed very happy my invention my design still able to benefit the consumer benefit the market benefit the human society <laughs> uh this is tesla so what this for is for tesla to use here for Tesla to reduce the heat. Doing a uh, sunshade, partially sunshade, partially can still see through. So this is Tesla's item. <laughs> After 20 some years, almost 30 years, this still working and just like uh, the sunshade I had here, it combined two of them, <laughs> but this is a, a shade. I can use the same thing, and like Tesla. <laughs> but one is fabric completely block the sun, completely functioning like a sunshade. This is actually a screen shade. It's to reduce a little glare, and that's. I, I think maybe we can even drive this. I don't know. When you when you are driving, I don't know. You can use that, but <laughs> I can still see through. <laughs> so that it's but they fall so awkward. So so be. Because 
they use one loop and this use one loop is for this season so now with the three shades <laughs> with the three shades we'll open this and with in 30 years not much development but still works what that tells you you don't need a good idea to change the world you can use a small little idea to make shit loads of million multi multi million dollars or over one billion pieces being produced throughout these 20 some years from uh, manufacturing to from US to manufacturing in China would produce that much so that is very simple idea very simple concept just put file pattern produce it you make millions that's what it's little idea can benefit you that's what small idea can generate millions dollars to make you become to multi multi millionaire so that is what the statement i try to make for today's video uh now i'm gonna fold them back uh this is uh rather encouraging 30 years the product still being used and being produced in multiple different form and shape just this simple pop-up loop sunshade it, it showed up with multi different form and shape throughout the years some are single panel some are double panel some are see-through material and some are uh, giveaway some are manufacturing for a consumer product various form and shape but generate a lot of money can you figure out to make the design to generate that much money the answer is yes with my course and my educational program I'm going to show people and teach you and show you how to make the product just like this sunshade as a concept and obviously this is no longer patented protected item but you know I cut this from my own test after I have done the purchase so this is item uh, we have a perfect a live example I'm the living proof for how to design and create a small simple concept to generate million millions millions dollar for you or for your family and for your career uh, not to mention how many workers working in China and make the living just how many been sold how many pieces been sold help Walmart Target Costco price club we have our uh, auto zone we have pet boys we have a uh, Kmart Sears even Toys R Us which they filed bankrupt already they filed the bankruptcy but they even selling children's variation in Toys R Us now they're still selling in Amazon and other online this item will last forever I guarantee you will not be obsolete but the pattern obsolete so now every manufacturer every little retailer every little Amazon uh, sellers welcome to use this technology to make a living that is what I said and what I am going to teach you how to make low entry level no plastic or steel molding 
no 3D modeling, no investment of any form and shape for prepare the production, only cut and sew. The only thing you had is inside the loop. It's, it's a let uh, is a spring steel loop that require a little uh, ancient uh, a process of steel making. Period. Otherwise, this product can be made. Whoever had a sewing machine at home. Whoever have a sewing facility in the factory, all can be made. Can be made in China, can be made in the US. Originally, I made this in China, I uh, know in US, in Los Angeles. Now it's all made in China. Can we make in Mexico? Oh, of course. Can we make in Vietnam? Oh, of course. Can we move back to US? Of course, but whether we can afford the labor costs and the insurance or all these uh, costs of labor intensive uh, process. This is a second uh, second industry revolution result with the sewing machine and with the steel. The only little advanced material I had is after World War II, the uh, massive production of DuPont nylon material. That's a, that's a really pure uh, DuPont nylon material called nylon ripstop because uh, uh, when the first uh, time of a, a original production I started in Los Angeles I bought the uh, material from DuPont's uh, distributor in uh, Buffalo New York uh, the distributors uh, were selling my uh, selling uh, the nylon ripstop to me and I was able to ship that to the factory in downtown LA with uh, approximately, I would say, uh, 60, 70 uh, sewers at the time in the, with the makers, uh, as a makers of the shades, uh, cost me um, approximately uh, less than $10 a piece with material, uh, fabric, loops, packaging, and also cut and sew process. Uh, I was able to sell $20 uh, in swap meet uh, in the swap meet of uh, Rose Bowl in Pasadena and the swap meet in Orange County, California. It's, uh, it's a adventure. I mean, I was still a student in the School of Art Center College of Design. I already making the business, selling the business, generate the cash flow and prepare for uh, mass production in China and working with a, a retailer like uh, FECO. They have uh, nine different stores in Southern California. Uh, the uh, M Price Company, Price Club, Price Club uh, which has more than, uh, at that time, 100 and 200 different stores uh, throughout the Sunbelt area of the United States and uh, other location of the US. So it, I was selling to them and at that time, before I even graduate, I already hit uh, $7 million in sales uh, of the Sunshade. <laughs> the Sunshade was generally uh, over, a little bit over $7 million in sales the first year. Totally awesome, totally workable with you guys. If you guys, I will be uh, your mentor and you join my mentorship. I will work with you to walk you through step by step and how that can be happen to you in your life. Thank you.